Hello, I'm back. A while ago, I uploaded a review of my earlier YouTube videos. Today's video will follow on from that by focusing on some of my other uploads. In early August 2021, as part of my Sci-Fi Issues video series, I uploaded a video about fuel supply issues in various sci-fi films and TV shows. This mainly concentrated on the severe fuel shortage experienced by the Colonial Fleet, as depicted in the original Battlestar Galactica story, The Living Legend. During that story, the two commanders, Adama and Kane, disagreed on how best to take fuel from their Cylon enemies in order to replenish their own supplies. Adama advocated capturing a pair of Cylon tankers while they were conducting a regular supply run, while Kane pushed for a mission against a nearby Cylon base. In the video, I suggested carrying out both plans and then repainting the tankers so they could be used to provide a mobile fuel reserve for the fleet. Looking back, I now realise that, after the mission, the captured tankers would need to undergo a full systems check to stop them transmitting their position to the Cylon. The next video I want to look back on was the short lab I did on February 17th, 2023. In the video, I asked if it's really necessary to refer to entitled women using the name Karen, as I feel it's unfair to women with that name. Of course, the same objection applies to the practice of referring to entitled men by using the name Kevin, which is probably a reference to the Kevin the Teenager character created by Harry Enfield. Personally, I think it would be better to refer to entitled people of both genders with the term Thowalung. Indeed, I already use this when referring to MAGA Republican politician Marjorie Taylor Greene, if only because she's the opposite of a sweetheart. The final subject of this review is the video I uploaded in June 2023 as part of a set inspired by Trek Culture's request for Star Trek story ideas to celebrate them reaching 250,000 subscribers. This particular video details stories that could follow on from episodes of the original series in the same way Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan continued the story of the episode Space Seed. Something I didn't mention in my original video, which is equally worthy of following up, is the immediate aftermath of Enterprise's encounter with the Doomsday Machine. This story could cover Kirk and his senior staff submitting their reports, Starfleet collecting the Doomsday Machine for an examination, and its eventual fate. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to like and share. Also, let me know what you think in the comments section. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and click the bell icon to be notified about new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon.